So. Hi, Ken Kollerick uh, with American Physician Partners. I'm at Cookville Regional Medical Center, and I wanted to walk you through our procedure uh, for attending a uh, suspected COVID patient for a rapid sequence intubation. Uh, what we have is we have a Mayo stand here that we've taken the tray off of. Um, that's great for tenting your draping material. Um, what we are using here is a very lightweight plastic. We actually got a roll of uh, plastic from a local dry cleaner. Um, this is actually not the small bag uh, for like if you had a shirt dry clean, but rather it's a larger bag for if you had a long coat uh, uh, dry clean like your white lab coats. Uh, you split that bag uh, open uh, down the middle and then drape it over the mayo stand. Um, we do take a couple pieces of tape and secure it once on the mayo stand and once on the side row of the bed uh, so that the attending uh, material doesn't move or get away from you. The most important thing about this process is before you start the procedure, you want to make sure you have everything underneath your tent that you're going to need. Everything from your bag, valve, mask, device, your suction, your endotracheal tube, your laryngoscope, um, as well as the tubing that you're going to use for the ventilator. That way, uh, it's a, it, everything is enclosed underneath here. You don't have to come out. Obviously, the first thing you would do is you put on your appropriate PPE gear. Uh, since we're trying to conserve that these days, I'm not putting that on right now. Um, so the process is basically as such, um, you kind of get to the head of the bed here. Um, you get your arms underneath, uh, and just kind of let the material break down in front of you. Um, again, you've got a oral airway in, and you're just kind of bag masking the patient like this, and the tension device will kind of help keep all of that uh, particular matter that's being expired down here. Now you notice we do have a filter between our mask and our bag. Uh, once you're ready to intubate, uh, take out, set down your bag valve mask, take out your oral airway. Uh, and again, doing this correctly, you want suction in your hand. So I've got suction underneath the curtain. Uh, I've got my glide scope. Get your glide scope in, suction device until you see your cords. Why don't you get your cords? Turn your fake your tube out. Once you got your angle take your tube where you want it, style that out. And then again, you want to bag the patient until you're sure you've got it where you want it. So you can bag down like the patient again. And then once you're ready for your put the patient on the ventilator, take off your bag. And switch over to your ventilator tubing. Again, all of this is underneath the tenting material. And then once you've got that patient on the ventilator, uh, you've got a closed system and, and then you can start breaking down your tenting material. So again, the idea is, is to have everything underneath the tenting material before you start. Um, we've also found that if you put a little bit of weighting uh, on the, the, between the arms of the, uh, the uh, operator, it also kind of helps keep that material down. But again, that's, that's the process. Thank you.